Oh my word, this thing is just so easy. I've been playing golf now, I reckon, for 35 years or more, and during that time I've played golf with lots of golfers. And I reckon pretty much all of them would benefit from having one of these golf clubs in their bag. Well, at least 99% of them. But despite all the benefits that this club has and how much help it can give to most average golfers, I reckon the majority of us still don't have one in the bag. Let me give you an example of a few situations where this club can become the most versatile one in your bag. Now you can of course choose to play it from a tee. My word. You can even choose to play this out of a fairway bunker. I just can't believe it does that so easy. I could never do that with an iron. You can even choose to play this club from out of the rough. Get up. You can even choose to play this club as a bit of a wedge shot. It'd be nice if it went in. Get up there, ball. Get up there, ball. And it goes without saying that you can play it from any type of lie on the fairway. Oh my word, look at that ball flight. Perfect coming into this well-protected green. Get on the flag. Oh ho! And there's one club that makes all of those shots you've just seen just that little bit easier. Get in. I am of course referring to a hybrid, but not the sort of standard three to four hybrid that most of us will carry as a long iron alternative. I'm talking about something with a lot more loft in the bag, and that's the key to making this game so much more easier and why it's vastly underrated and why so many of us should have this club with as much loft on it in the bag to make this game a damn sight easier for us all. So the big reveal is, yes, it's a hybrid, but like I said, it's one with plenty of loft and I've got a seven hybrid in my bag. Perhaps you should look at even a six hybrid, but the point is something with plenty of loft. And that's where the versatility comes from. But before you golf snobs disappear, now you've heard it's a seven hybrid, just hang on a minute and let me explain why I think this should be in plenty more golf bags. It's that high towering ball fly looking to come in over those bunkers. And that's the kind of thing where this club is so versatile. I want to go back first of all to what we did with the intro. As you can see those scenarios, playing from a fairway bunker, what a horrible shot that is for an average golfer. To be able to use the sole to just slide across that sand, use the loft to help pick it up, makes that shot so much easier than it would be with an iron in hand. You're then looking at a chip and run shot from around the green, which can be played from all kinds of distances. That loft again just helps to pop the ball up a little bit, but the face gets it firing, as opposed to perhaps a seven iron chip and run. Or if you don't get it quite right, that can often backfire on you. And you're then talking from the tee and from the fairway and that kind of shot. And, and again, the approach we've just had in behind us, a green littered with bunkers where you need the height. You've got to get that ball up and airborne. You want it coming down and landing soft, but you want to be clearing those bunkers. And again, this is the type of club that allows you to do that. That low CG pops that ball up really, really high. It gets the ball airborne, it clears the bunkers, it gets you on the green. And there's no other club in the bag that does it quite as easy. And that's where the versatility of the club for me is the key. And why more and more average golfers, and they go back to 99% of us, should have one of these in the bag. I think it's getting just a little bit too dark. And I think it's time to pop back into the van. Oh, I thought we was going to hold that. And give a bit of a summary, get that kettle on and see what we finally think of uh, my thought process behind. Don't forget, 99% of you, you should have one. Well, the feedback I want from you in this week's video in the comment section down below is, do you currently have this seven hybrid in the bag? Or let's say a lofted hybrid in the bag. And if after watching this video, will it change your mind that if you haven't got one to perhaps persuade you at least to give one a try? So you've seen this thing perform in, in reality out there on the golf course, which is where it is all about. But in terms of dry ball data, I mean, I could hit this thing all day long. It is one of the easiest clubs. And I, I use that word easy. I mean, you've still got to swing these things, don't get me wrong. But this kind of hybrid with plenty of loft on, 
It's definitely one of the easiest clubs you'll find to try and get some enjoyment out of the game. Hit those lofted, elevated shots, give you plenty of help and assistance. So the question still remains, why have most of us not got one of these in that bag? I can't resist it in another ball. Look how the ball flies on it. Now very surely you'll hear about what 7 Hybrid I used in making of today's video, but I think it's very worth pointing out that there are a number of brands that do provide a 7 Hybrid in their range, but not everybody. So it is worth shopping around a little bit and I thought I would compile a bit of a list from the major brands who I consider that have a 7 Hybrid available right now. It starts off with a Ping G425. Also the price in here for you as well, which is another helpful guide. 219 British pounds uh, for the G425. Mizuno, it doesn't come in the CLK range, but it does come in the uh, GPX Fly High, and that's at 129 and by far the lowest price seven hybrid you can buy right now. TaylorMade do the Sim2 Max at 199. Callaway do their B21 at 159. Titleist TSI-1, that's the most expensive 7 hybrid you can buy at 229 and the PXG 0211 was 190 So a real cross-section in terms of pricing and obviously that's something for you to consider if you were going to put one of these clubs in your bag. But for now, we'll move back into the van and I'll tell you which hybrid I've used today and perhaps what I think of it. Right, so today's video was more about the style of club rather than the type of club. And it's all about being a lofted hybrid in the bag. And, uh, but in this case, I used a Ping G425 7 hybrid. And I think if I was choosing or recommending a hybrid, it'd probably be that. There's plenty of options out there, but right now this one just kind of ticks all the boxes for me on a personal level. Love the way it looks at the dress. I love the matte crown. I love the two-tone face that sort of shows you that loft and once again, inspires confidence so it just ticks all the boxes it performs incredibly well i've used it for over a year now and i've got very familiar with the club and more than happy to recommend it but like i said plenty of other options out there but my finishing statement would be really what the title says and that's that 99 percent of golfers would benefit from having this club in the bag there is no doubt about it and the question still remains why haven't you got one in your bag Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. That's my two penneth. Let's see your comments down below to the questions I asked earlier. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed today's video. And as ever, the final request is subscribe if you don't already and hit that notifications bell to get a little bit of a reminder each time we post. Right, I'm done. Thank you for watching. See you soon.